Vissel are aiming to bring a first ever J League crown back to Kobe. Yuyo Sako has been show stopping, Daya Meikawa has been shot stopping, and if they can lead the Ushi to victory in their next two matches, they'll have made history. But that achievement could be endangered significantly by Nagoya this weekend. If Kasper Junker and Grampus can recapture some of their early season magic, we could see a carnival atmosphere in Kobe turn to Heartbreak City in a hurry. The title race is reaching its thrilling conclusion, with the current Kings of J-League aiming to bring another championship back to Yokohama. But Marinos are just two points behind leaders Vissel Kobe with just two matches to play, meaning there's no room for error now. A tricky tie awaits the tricolour, with the Swans swimming into this one on a long unbeaten run. Alburex are known as a team that can upset the odds, but will they do it when the spotlight shines brightest? These two teams have quite the recent history, with Avispa dulling the Red Diamond sparkle in an epic cup final earlier this month. On that day, it was Fukuoka who flew to their first piece of major silverware, but now the kings of Asia are looking for revenge. With the Reds still in the hunt for continental competition, every point is potentially pivotal. Can Jose, Kante and co find their form, or will they be stung once again by the Wasps? It was a rare clean sheet last time out for Hokkaido Consadole Sapporo, who may be finding their defensive steel right at the end of the campaign. That's been the missing link this season as a ferocious attack has scored a ton, but been twinned with a vulnerable rear guard. This weekend represents a major exam for the defence to pass. A trip to Tokyo means a face-off with Diego Oliveira, who has been one of the most dynamic forwards in Japan over much of the last decade. With 14 goals to his name this season, the Brazilian is looking to end the campaign on a high and show that at the age of 33, he's just getting started.